gonna construct. I'm I just off the top of my head. I'm gonna construct what shows have to be on this list. All right, guys, and welcome back to Underdog TV. Show. Today the we're Galaxy, doing a uh, tier list for the so-called uh, anime uh, elitist uh, starter pack. Now I found that around 50 anime, 55 around there, that so-called are the best anime according to anime elitist. And the funny thing is, I've actually watched a couple, maybe a little couple more, but I have heard of many of them. So we're going to take a look and see what we see. Whatever I haven't watched, I might leave it at, on the list. So let's get started. The first one on my list is Beck. Beck. Now, I know this is going to bite this you guys off because I, uh, I play in a band, I play guitar, so I love Beck. I love the story, what it's about. I've seen a little bit of it, I've seen the trailer, and maybe like one episode. So I'll put it at not too much. The recent view is I feel it's like size of life, and I feel like it could be relatable. I heard it's about, about a rock band, so we're gonna put it right here. Not too much, not too. I wouldn't say it's for you. Now, next one is Space Runaway Idion. That's like an older show. I would put, I would put it on the little elite. Because that show, it's older, and I don't know if it's that good. It was made by the creator of Gundam. But to me, it's like whatever. So I'll put it right there on a little elite. The next one is Devil Man Crybaby. I haven't watched Devil Man Crybaby, but I heard it's kind of like, um, it's alright, but again, the art and animation is a little strange. I'll put it at a little elite because people really talk about being super deep and stuff but I mean just because it's super deep doesn't mean it's elite for the elitist I would say anyone can enjoy it heck I would even move it to okay now Akira Akira it's an anime that gets thrown around a lot it's a film it's a movie and um I wouldn't say it's for elitist but I think it's fan base it's elitist the anime itself it's anyone could watch it but and it's all right but I'll put it at Super Elite only, only because of the fan base, not because of the anime itself. I'm doing it mostly based on the fan base, it's not the, not the anime themselves. But let me move Eevee on to Super Elite because the fan base, the fan base to me comes off as a little Super Elite. Next one is Anohana. Um, it's, I would say it's okay. It's okay. It's not that for elitist, it's not for elitist, but it, it's fan base, it's, it's just normal people. A little bit older, but that's what I think. Now, Aria the animation. I think we've heard a couple of guys out there saying stuff about Aria. Especially some guy named Digibro. To him, it, it seems like for elitist, but. Honestly, up for a little bit for Lewis. It wasn't. It wasn't in my opinion. The next one is Bakuman. Bakuman. That's like I think that's a story about people that draw manga. That's what the anime's about. It's a little. It's a little bit for Lewis. I put it a little bit for Lewis. Uh, it's a, it's a it's all right, but uh, the fan base when they came out, the fan base was kind of annoying. Berserk. Berserk. Now, this anime, I'll, I'll put it at not too much. I'll put it here next to Beck. Because Berserk. Berserk is a really good anime. And and I, I think it's fan base. It's a bit annoying, but they're not like toxic. They're not like too annoying, too in your face. So, the fan base there is... So, Berserk, I'll put it at not too much. Not too much. Because they're... It's a cool anime, it's cool animation, cool art, except for the remake. But um, yeah, it's not, it's not a, I don't want to say it's for elitist or for an elitist fan base. Code Geass. Code Geass, it's a bit elite. The fans, they're kind of like, ah, it's the greatest thing ever. It's the greatest thing ever. It's the greatest thing ever. Yeah, you know, I think I think it's an okay anime. I think it's okay anime. I think it's great. 
it's good characters, good story, but just the fans, man. They're, they really push it. Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop, I say it's okay. But I don't think it's like the greatest anime ever either. I don't like people say it's the greatest thing ever, but to me it's alright. It's alright. The fan base is a little pushy, so I think I'm gonna move it to literally because they're a little pushy. Ergo Proxy. Ergo Proxy, never seen it. I've seen the trailer. I see the trailer of a lot of anime. But I, I like the art. I like the darkness of the setting. So I'll put it at that. Okay. I, I've never really heard people push the anime to that hard. Maybe it maybe maybe in the older days they did. Grave of the Fireflies. Grave of the Fireflies is a little weak. Just a little bit. But for the fans, fans. Because, yeah, it has a sad ending. Yeah, a little bit of a spoiler, but I don't wanna. I don't think that's enough to make a show like the greatest shit ever. Fully, fully. Fully, fully. FLCO. I'll put it at it. Okay. It's like, no. I think this is from the other world. I've never seen from the other world. So, I'm going to leave it on the list because I don't know where to put it. I've never seen the anime. Next one is Ghost Town. Ghost Town is okay. You know, I've never had anyone or seen people push it that hard. I think it's underrated, but I don't think it's like the best thing ever, but I don't think their fan base is so So, it's like an okay. Ghost in the Shadow movie. Well, I'll put it at not too much, because you gotta understand that it's Ghost in the Shell, although the fan base may seem elitist, it's, it's inspired a lot of works. And it's it's an okay movie. It's okay, it's okay. And not too much. I'll put it at okay, I'm gonna be too okay, because I don't want people being like, oh, you're just a friend of the elitist. You know, I don't want you, you know, I don't want people to be like that, that think I'm defending the elitist. So I'll put it out okay. Because I don't think it's that bad. I don't I don't think the fan base is that bad either. They're alright. The girl who left through time. What the heck? The girl who left through time. No. I've never seen the girl who left through time. I've seen the trailer. So I think it's it's a it's okay. It's okay. The fan base is like I said, the fan base, they're like, whatever. They're alright. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. Because I don't want to be, like, pissing anyone off. Great Teacher Onisuka. I heard that's funny. I want to really watch that anime. I have, I've have i seen parts of it. I've never seen the anime. I really want to watch the anime. But, to me, I'll put it at not too much. It's not... It's not... I don't say it's for... Elitist. I think anyone can enjoy it. And I don't think it's fan base is it's elitist even. Honey Bay Honey Bay Renmei. I think it's Honey Bay Renmei, something like that. I'll put it at I'll put it at super elite. Super elitist. Or super elitist. I mean it's okay. The story sounds alright. But um I just think it could uh it should have should have been a little more, a little, a little more better story, or a little more something, something. Not too. I saw this a little boring. I mean, I've only seen a few episodes. I haven't seen the whole thing. But uh, maybe the ending takes off. I'm not sure. But to me, the fan base does come out as a little weird, although not pushing. But. Honey and Clover. Damn, I've never seen it. I saw a trailer. I saw, I saw not too much. Honey and Clover? Nah, not too much. Hunter x Hunter. Ooh. Man, Hunter x Hunter. It's... It's okay. I wouldn't say... I don't think it's for Linus. I don't think it's not for you. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. It's not for Linus. Why? Because it's Jojo. And Jojo is king. So... No, not for Linus. Kaiba. 
it's I think it's a the fan base, it's a little for the elitist. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But uh I heard it's good too. I had I know this guy who really liked it. But I, I I don't think I'll have time to ever watch it. Maybe one day. Maybe hopefully Kaiju. You know what? My sister watched Kaiju. And she told me she really loved it. There was a lot of it was dramatic and shit. So I'll put Kaiju at not too much. Not too many really At not too many really At the board? At the board? Something like that. I thought it's hard. Uh, I heard the art was really unique. Uh, I haven't seen it. I don't think it's for readers. I've seen bits of it. Like, moments. I'll play that. Okay. It's okay. It's, I don't think it's for readers. Maybe there's like a, one or two in the that really push it, but I don't I don't think it's that one of the Kino's Journey. Kino's Journey? There's a remake of Kino's Journey as well. I mean it's adventure, it's journey, it's travel. A little bit like One Piece or Adventure. And I like adventure. I'll put it at a little readiest. Because the fans they do talk about it a lot. And they do kind of praise it, I think, a little too much. But again, I've only seen like a couple of clips and the opening. Land of the Lusterous. Look, to me, it's not for the list. I'll put it now. Not too much. Because Land of the Lusterous, it just has really good art and animation. Like, it's really like shiny by art. So I'll leave it there. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Now that is super elite because the, its fan base is super elitist. I, I can't deny that. I can't deny it. It's just right there. Legend of the Galactic Heroes, you know, it's so elite for elitist that they don't even push it because they know that it's kind of their thing. But uh, I like space stuff, so I, I, I think I'm gonna check it out. What the heck is that? March comes in like a lion? Oh. It's a little weird. No, that's the weird. It's for you. Nah, it's not that weird. It's a little weird. It's for a little bit for you. Mm. Millennium Actress? Is that Millennium Actress? I've never seen it. Shit. Okay, so these ones I haven't seen. I'll put them in the back. Millennium Actress? Uh, from another world. I haven't seen them. I can't judge it. Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam. Hmm. I'm a Gundam fan. I love Gundam. I love Mecha. But the fan base is a little bit. Um, I put it a little bit. Yeah, so the fan base is a little bit amused. But um, Gundam is becoming very popular in this movie. And in the future, it's gonna be even more popular. So I'll leave it as a little amused. Monster. But I love Monster. Monster is really good. I'll put it at not too much because it's it's a really good show. Like even like even if you're not in the latest, if you watch it, you're gonna say it's a very good show. It kind of um, like Breaking Bad. It's kind of like Breaking Bad for me. Penguin Drum. I haven't seen anyone push that. I'll put it at okay, but I haven't seen anyone push that. Steins Gate. I heard it's good, so I'll put it at. Not too much, because I heard it's good. Now Desica and the Valley of the Wind, I'll put it right at a little, a little news. Neon Genesis of Evangelion. Man, like the anime itself is alright, but the, the fan base is super amused. Like the fans, they claim Evangelion invented everything. Evangelion inspire everything. Evangelion inspired like the invention of Apple. Like yeah, what the heck? Like just ridiculous claims. I think the fan base is elitist, but the anime is alright. The anime is alright. No longer human. It's I've never seen it. I just never seen no longer human. 
so I'll put it at the back. Oh man, that's I feel bad I'm not watching it. Then now there I'm dead? Something like that. That's not the fan base is not that at least. I put it not too much. Paprika. Paprika. It's a it's a movie I think. I've seen a lot of clips of it. I've never seen it, but it looks okay. I'll put it out okay. Because I, I think anyone can enjoy that movie. Paranoia Agent. Dude, I watched Paranoia Agent as a, as a teenager. And that shit really, really fucking scared me. Fucking gave me nightmares and shit. It was so whack. And the ending was whack. It was, wow. Nah, man. I'm going to put Paranoia Agent as a little... No, it's, a, it's okay. I'll put it out okay. Because even though it is a little bit for elitist, it's really weird. Like, I think someone should watch it just, like, fucking just to get nightmares. Or if you want to watch, it's like horror. It's more, to me, it was more like horror. But it's psychological. But it was pretty fucking scary, man. <laughs> Especially the last three episodes, you're, you're at the edge of your seat. Blue, blue gender, blue water, something like that. I, uh, I think that's a guy about the celebrity and the stalker and shit. That one's okay. It's a movie. Not any perfect blue. Perfect blue. I remember the name. No, it's okay. I don't think I don't think it's for me. It's that much. Ping pong. Ping pong. The animation. I'll put it out of the list. Because, I mean, the story I heard, it's good. But the art, is it's very bizarre. Like, yeah, it's kind of, for some people, unique. But to me, it kind of bothers me. Planties. Planties? I've never seen it. Never seen it. I've always heard of the title, but I've never seen it. Porco Rosso. It's a... I'll put it at a little leap. Because, um... It's fan base. Damn, I keep saying the word. Fan base. Well, it's fans. They sort of praise it for being more obscure than actually good. But it's not bad. So I'll put it at the middle of it. Princess Mononoke, it's okay. Serial Experiment Lane. Like you always hear people be like, I'll put it at the middle of it. It's that, I think that's Shirobako. That's Shirobako? Shirobako. Shirobako. Space Brothers. Space Brothers. What? Huh. Whatever, I'll put it at I'll put it at a little bit. It's a little bit for you. Just... I've only seen a couple, but I think the ending. I think people like it because of it's kind of a slice of life. I'll put it at okay. The Tommy Galaxy. The Tommy Galaxy? I think that one really guys say the Tommy Galaxy was you gotta have it on every anime elitist list. So I guess you know Tommy Galaxy, you gotta go over there with them. Technolize, technolize, textilize. It's cyberpunk. I've never seen it. I've heard some of the music. I, I'll put it at a little bit. I'll put it at a little bit. I'll put it at the first because I think it's one of the most. It's like right here, right here. It's between these two. If anything, I can put it here. But like it's like it's borderline super elite. The Count of Monte Cristo. The Count. Now Count. We're going to. Okay. It's based off a book. It's all right. It's all right. But I mean, watch the Hollywood movie. And then if you like the movie, which is like an hour long or two hours, you no, know, it's like two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. And then come back, and if you really like it, watch the anime, and you might enjoy it. I don't remember that honestly. Can we go to my family? Oh, that's the eccentric family. Eccentric family. Hmm. I, I don't see it's for leaders. I don't think it is. Oh, that's that one and it's called The Rose of Versailles. I don't think it's for leaders. Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. God damn it. I need to know some, some of these names. 
and soft to draw. The Gordons are not too much, not too much. We lucky, we lucky. Revolutionary girl, you to know? Uh, it's all right. It's a little elitist, but it's all right. Welcome to the NHK. I think the reason people like this anime, it's because they've been in similar situations. And yeah, the fan base can maybe a little elitist, but I, I really want to watch this one. I'll put it out a little bit. No, I'll put it out a I don't think I don't think it's for elitist. I really want to watch it too. So that's my list. Nothing made of trash this time. This time. You know, for trash, it would have been any anime that's either for elitist and it's not that good or just not good at all. But nothing made it to trash. That's, that's wonderful. But uh, I haven't seen Millennium Actress. The girl who left behind, no longer human, and plan teas. I haven't seen those. So I, I'm not gonna rate them. I feel bad. But Millennium Actress, it's probably not for elitists. It looks kind of weird. But here we go. The ones that I think elitists really push it's like Akira, Space Idion, Hanging by Renme, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Neon Genesis of Evangelion, Ping Pong, and the Tommy Galaxy. I feel that those are the ones that really get pushed by elitists. But then there's the ones like the little elite. They're, they're, they get pushed, but they're kind of good. And then there's the okay ones. The okay ones, they were like anime I saw were, weren't for the elite. I saw, I thought they were okay. And not too much. Like, I thought this anime not too much. It's just anime that's not really for elitist. That's, that's, that's what I think. Maybe they just have really strong fan bases, but that's not, that doesn't mean they're for elitist. But yeah, that's my list, guys. What did you guys think? Please subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, you know, support my channel. I, I have been recently uploading late a lot. But that's because I have a lot of work. But uh, I'm going to try maybe in, in the future to upload more on time. You know, but but in general, you're going to get like two videos every month. But yeah, keep watching. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.